Oh my god, oh my god, don't, you're gonna die, you're gonna die, you're gonna die. Oh, you're having so much of it as well. Should I not have that much? I don't know, man, I really don't know. No, it's a wee bit nippy. Oh, there's really oh. 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 That's spicy. <laughs> oh my god, she's a psycho, she's a psycho. They're the fucking super hot noodles. Charlotte, that's not okay. <laughs> I know, I don't know what she's doing. I'd like everyone to know that these are the super hot noodles that me and Jack were going to eat for a challenge and Charlotte's having them as a snack. I just want to try them. Are you dying yet? Oh, 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 oh. Give me a bit. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm a bit swollen. It's really, really hot. <laughs> Are you okay? It's really weird. You're dying, I'm really nervous. Are you okay? It's just like numb. You're looking like you're really unwell. Mm. <laughs> Ow! Ah. We didn't manage very much, but they. No. I always wish it tasted nice, and then the spice didn't come. Hello. Oh, how much time have I got? Eight minutes. Perfect. I have just got to PT. It's been a while. The last time I was at PT, I, <laughs> I overworked myself, which meant that I was really sore. And then because my legs were so sore, I wasn't bending down properly to pick things up and I hurt my back. So I've just been a bit <laughs> stupid with my body, but I'm feeling really good. I've been back home now for four days. I'm finally starting to feel normal. And I just realized that how excited I am that I'm not going to be on any more long haul flights. I'm going to be home I can get in a routine I'm not going to be puffy I'm not going to be swollen from the flights I'm not going to be jet lagged so I'm just super excited yesterday you might have seen a very small clip of my makeup I did my first bridal makeup trial and I actually went and tried my dress on for the first time the first time seeing what it's going to look like and it was the best day ever I'm not going to show you guys obviously what my dress is looking like but I am filming it so I can show you guys after we're married at the end of the week I am going to London I'm going to London Thursday Friday I've got a really busy day on Thursday and then Friday I'm hopefully seeing my friend Jen and then I'm home as of right now that is the last trip to London before the wedding but I don't think that that's going to be the case I think I will be down before the wedding still and yeah that's it I'm so excited I'm just feeling really happy and it's 18 degrees and sunny in Scotland today right I'm going to go and do a PT let's do this let's do this Roof down. Just gonna do a wee quick update because I'm really excited. PT was really good. I didn't film it because I never film my first sessions back because I'm not <laughs> I'm not very impressive, let's just say that. But I did actually, I did quite good today. And then I went for coffee with Chloe who owns my <gasps> Went for a coffee with Chloe who owns my Durban Flowers because they are going to be doing our wedding flowers. I'm so excited, so excited. Right now we're on our way to Eleganza again. Yesterday I tried my dress on, but today Claire, who's one of my bridesmaids, is trying on her bridesmaid's dress. So we're just going with her for emotional support and then we need to go to the fort because I'm picking up a couple of things from Zara that I bought online from Charlotte's <laughs> recommendation. And... We're going to go to Boots to start getting stuff together for the wedding. We're going to make like an emergency pack that's got all our medicines and blister plasters and plasters diarrhea. and diarrhea tablets. <laughs> so we're going to be doing that. And yeah, just a good day. Yeah, good day it's so guys. sunny. It's 24 degrees. Look at this. Put your hands up in the air. Put your hands up in the air. Put your hands up in the air. You already know. I'm having a bath. I've been to the gym this morning and I am having a cocktail of these two. I talked about them in my Amazon haul. I am honestly obsessed, you guys. I have been having a bath with either one, but today I'm having a cocktail. Drop a light on too. Oh, my friend. My friend. And also, I feel like I want to catch you up on my water update. So, if you guys didn't watch my Amazon video, I also bought this big bottle and it is a litre and a half of water. And this is my second one today. So I've managed to drink two and a half litres of water, which is mental for me. I never drink water. I never drink that much water. But look at me go. I really do think that the mixture of drinking that much water and having my salt baths which draw all the toxins and the excess kind of water weight out of your body it's really helping me feel way more active it's also helping me feel like less puffy i feel like i'm less puffy around my face area because i always felt like i was never gaining loads of weight but i go super puffy some days and then not puffy the next day and i honestly just think that my water retention was crazy because i was drinking no water my body would get some water freak out and try and hold on to it and it's just not normal so i'm drinking tons more water my skin's better for it 
I've got not got any makeup on at all apart from mascara. So obvious to you guys, but sometimes all it takes is for someone to say, have you drank enough water today? That's the third day of me drinking 10 times more water than I usually do. And I've just been having my bath every second day. When I'm not having my bath, I have showers just in case you think I'm dirty. <laughs> I've been having the salt baths every kind of second day. And this is the first time I'm going to try the two different types of salt together. I just wanted to tell you guys because it's making me feel loads better. PT was really good this morning. I've kind of hurt my hip. <laughs> I keep on hurting myself but yeah it's just really working I just felt great this morning I felt great all day I'm tired now because we've had a really busy day we went into Eleganza to see Claire in her dress went to the fort which is just like a shopping center and I got some shopping I went to Zara and I got some new stuff the thing I'm most excited about are these earrings look at them oh. We're also starting to get the stupid stuff that we're going to need for the wedding. So this boots bag is literally just full of medicine, blister plasters, medicine, deodorant for me going away, headache tablets, diarrhea tablets, and no one has the gens on my wedding day. And I actually also bought these two. Obviously, you guys know that I work with Billy Henriksen loads, but I have not tried these yet, but I really wanted them for myself, so I'm going to do my mask in the bath tonight. You're meant to use the sauna scrub first and then a cold plunge mask, so that's what I'm going to do. And I got these at Boots. Ella Henriksen's in Boots if you didn't know and when I was in Boots I saw the new Fenty counter and it's beautiful it's so nice we were in a rush we were just trying to get stuff done and the poor girl came over and was like do you want to come over and see the counter and I was like I have seen it and I do have a lot of Fenty stuff but thank you very much I'm gonna watch Luther this is like my third time watching Luther by the way I flipping love it if you're looking for a new TV show to watch and you've not watched it yet you have to watch it although the mixture of Luther and the new Game of Thrones episode I had a very gory dream like a very gory stressful dream last night but that's fine it's over now tomorrow we're gonna have a spring clean Charlotte's come back up I do not believe you at all because you literally said to me when you were making it that you've had that far too much and you don't want it that's because I just wanted to get Nando's moan Jared was trying to make me go and get Nando's I don't want a fucking Nando's, Nando's. Come, and Nando's come and give me a big kiss in the cheek no. please no please no I'm please. still in eating mode Jack are we kissing the cheek for my bath I'm in eating mode okay I've got teriyaki sauce on me I hate you. What are you doing? What are you doing down here? This is my nook. This is where I am. We need to go out and vlog. Look, it's a gorgeous, glorious day. Just because it's gorgeous doesn't mean that we don't have work to do. Well, let's hurry up with the work so we can go and do something fun for the good people of YouTube. Like to watch like, our videos. Like, and like to watch us doing fun things. Like Not sitting on the floor. Trying to have, what have you even doing? Remortgaging our house. Trying to get the printer What are you doing, Jack? I'm just back from the gym, in fact. Oh, sweaty. Hard life. Hard life. Hard life. Hard life. Cry. Listen to this music. That's what you get when you stay in a rich, rich hotel. Hello, just got to London. I'm staying in the Ned. Look at this. So you walk in the front door. We have a little area where I can sit and look at myself. We have a very posh bathroom. Hello, toilet sink. What's behind here? Shower. Question. Cow shed. Love cow shed. These are massive. Look how many there are. Are they part of the room? Can I take these home? Or will I get charged 20 quid a bottle? Which quickly adds up to over 200 pounds. <laughs> Big comfy bed. Nice. I want this in the house, but I can't take that home. I know that. Wow, nice. So I've obviously unpacked all my stuff, charging my shit. This is also confusing to me. If I was to walk in a hotel and see this, I'd be like, wow, how lovely. All the alcohol that I can have, but no, they charge you. Sneaky deaky. But um, yeah, I need to sort this music out. Music is sorted. I also need a coffee. Let's go in this cabinet. Whoa! Again, it's not free stuff. These are chargeable. And I learned that the hard way one time. So don't make it obvious that things cost money.
favourite room. Look, smoky, smoky, thundery clouds and swing, and I got really high on the swing. <laughs> I am now, I've finished my event this morning, I'm now with Adam Reed. Very exciting. We are going to be playing with the new GHD Oracle. You guys know that I've been working with GHD forever and I have been so excited for this to come out because it is a funky tool that doesn't look like it's going to straight uh, curl your hair but it does. I'm going to get to thought how to use it right now. It's all about the tilts. Okay. This is it here and what you do, you literally place it over the hair. Yeah. You take the hair, you gently tilt that. I'm going quite fast because for you I'm going to do sort of a nice towsled way. Oh, my fave. Take it through the end. You can just see that oh, beautiful wave. Oh, yeah. The for randomness, I like the randomness. I don't yeah. want it to look like we've overdone it, but look if you want a real curl. Oh, it literally. It looks like magic. What that comes from is the fact that you've got a heated plate here, heated plates in here, and then cold plates. And think of it like running a knife down a ribbon. Yes. And that's the effect you get. Wow. And that's how you get the curl in the wave. Now I'm going to go slightly reverse here. Okay. Take the hair. So this is the opposite way this is up. I'm elongating that down, pulling it into the end, slightly straightening out the end, and you can just see that oh, gives you that kick. Yeah. So here beachy. you have the curl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But here you have that beachy sort of kick back wave. So which me. I think is perfect. Yeah. Also, because you have the cold set, that seals the hair, so you get longevity. Yeah. And it also gives the hair the most incredible shine. I was going to say, people tell me when you can, you shampoo your hair, you wash it with warm water, and then you condition, then you wash it with cold water. That's right. And That's it so true. Seals it all in. So I do. I do listen to these professionals, you guys. <laughs> I'm having an issue. The vlogging camera's broken. Uh, I'm having to hold it together to get it to work, but I think it's gonna I think it's gonna give up on me soon. So this may be one of the last times I uh, selfie with you guys because it's fucked. I had a really good morning. I've got no eyelashes on because I'm halfway through doing my makeup. Where's my lunch? Here's me and my leaves. <laughs> Saying that there's sauce and cheese, we're gonna be fine. So I had a really good morning. That event is unbelievable. The NARS event is like an experience. You go through all the different rooms. It's the coolest thing ever. It's tons of photo opportunities. Wish Jack was here again. Third vlog in a row. I'm like, oh, my boy Jack. I know I said that that was my last trip last week. This is just to London for a night, so I didn't really count it because it's super easy. So I did the NARS event. I'm actually going back there tonight for the kind of party. Then I went to GHD. I went to see GHD and Adam Reed. Adam Reed did my hair. Look how cool this is. We're a beehive. We went for proper vintage looking hair. I'm well excited about it because I just love getting my hair done. Mmm. I love cabbage. I'm literally just getting ready. And then tonight we're we're going we're going out for a bit. Don't actually know who's gonna be at the event, but I'm sure some friends will be there. And then home tomorrow at two. Drank two litres of water today. Honestly, it's my new thing. I love water. And do you know what else I love? Wine. Water is wine after all, kind of. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Like I said, the camera's broken, I need to be really careful with it. Uh I need to I need to get a new one again. Oh, Hello everybody. Uh, the last time you saw me I was in London going to the NARS, the O by NARS event at night. I didn't actually end up filming because the camera is on its last legs. Look at this dog. Hello. Um, the camera was on its last legs so um, yeah I didn't film anything but it was really really fun. I got home at like 10 at night, had room service, had a shower, it was great. Met my friend Jen for breakfast, it was such a nice morning and then got home and yeah I've just been you know living life. I went to see Cara and baby Miley and Ruby yesterday and we had dinner, it was really really great and I thought just to round up this week's vlog we'd do, we'd do a little unboxing because I have a bunch of PR right in front of me so let's do this. <sighs> Oh, Exterior Glam and her lashes. Oh, they look really nice. Lashes from Exterior Glam. She's fab, her Instagram is delightful. Oh, what on earth is this? <gasps> What's happening? Oh my God, there's gems in this. Cool, and got some mascara in here and a lash curler, very chic. 
Thank you, Tarte. Next we have Bare Minerals. Clean without compromise. Oh, that's good. They're free of all the baddies. Mineral oil free, chemical sun cream free, cruelty free, paraben free, phthalate. Oh my god, remember that? Phthalate. I still don't know how to say it. Cool. Foundation sticks. I've not actually used that much bare minerals before. We've also got one of those silicone pad things and a brush. Oh, gift box. <gasps> oh, fresh skincare. Wow, this is nice. Soy face cleanser. Do you know what? I used to buy this every time I was in Sephora. I used to get the mini one to travel with. It is just a really nice facial cleanser. Very gentle. Does the job. Oh, lip glosses. I've been really liking lip gloss. Wow, it's like a stand. It's like you'd get in the shops. Voluminizing lip gloss. I feel like that's a real trend right now. Nice wand. Smells nice, like minty. Thank you very much. Hourglass. Let's open this big boy. Peach Rye Red. Oh my, can't I? Maybe I should do a whole makeup review talking like that guy. Peach Rye Red. Oh my, can't I? More pee. The 39 X palette. I'm guessing it's called Such a Gem. Oh, I actually was thinking about doing purple eyes. I just did a, a yellow eye makeup look and it looks sick. Really nice. The 39S palette has got a proper chunky glitter there. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, marbled metals. Very cool. Do you know what? It's so nice being home, you guys, because now I feel like I can properly start playing my makeup again. Creme Ombre Sun Kissed Cream. Yeah, that's a bit of me. Two more left, guys. This is a good haul today. Do you know what? See, whenever I do this, it just makes me want to put makeup on. Oh, <gasps> yes. Oh my God. So if you watched my bridal makeup trial, you'll know that I used a primer from the brand Herborean and they saw that I used it because I actually got it in another box. I've actually never been in touch with them before, but they sent me a bunch more stuff. Whoa. So we've got CC cream, glow cream, matte cream, BB cream, and pink perfect cream. I'm a fan. I'm excited about those. Big one for last. Wow. Whoa, cool. This is the new key for JLo. You can't ever have enough sunglasses. Whoa, it's got another drawer. <laughs> I can see my favorites already. They are bitchy. I like these. Wow. Oh, I remember I got this with Jacqueline's. Look. You can put four sunglasses in there, keeps them safe for when you're traveling, which is actually perfect. I'll use this for Italy, because it's actually kind of like a bridal color. That was on my PR, but while we're talking about things that I'm excited about, I have to talk to you about this uh, clothing brand. These are Aloe Yoga. So Aloe, I saw them for the first time when I was in LA a little while ago. You can only get them in two different shops in LA and one in New York. So they're very cool, very um, restrictive to purchase. You can't buy them, so you know that makes it cooler. Oh, sorry, you can only get it in LA. They do international free shipping and look at how good these leggings are. They're like biker shorts, but they've got the thick layer and then they've got a sheer layer, which I just think makes them look super cool. Fitness, fitness in this burger in my mouth. So you guys, that's this week's vlog and that's my PR and these are my shorts and I hope you liked it. That's all the big work out of the way. We've got loads of work to do when we're here and what we're gonna try and do is um, work quite solidly up until the wedding. So after the wedding, I've got videos ready for you guys, but um, me and Jack can just take a little bit of time off as husband and wife. I don't have my rings on today. I actually feel a bit naked, but yeah. I hope you guys are all doing really, really good. I know that the internet has been a really funny place in the last week or so. You just try and treat others with kindness as much as you can. It's so much easier, easier on your soul to be a good, kind person than it is to be hateful. So that's that's all I'm going to say. But um, I love you guys a lot and I'll see you next week. <laughs> My mouth tastes like blood. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the blood. No, there's my mom and dad. Look, me, me, look at me, me, me. <laughs> Shut up, Jack. And I'm finally farting. Farting. <laughs> Clean. Look at the other. There's a back of my head. Hello. Was I filming at all that whole time? Oh god, the lighting is horrific. Sugar. Super easy deasy. Easy deasy. That's not a word. <laughs>